This video will show you how to find and prove the center point of a circle. A circle is defined by the set of points on a plane that are equidistant from a center point. Imagine you're given a circle without a center point and asked to find the center. Remember that the center is equidistant from every point on the circle. But you can't possibly test infinitely many points, right? Could you test just two points to find it? Well, let's try. Let's say you find a point inside the circle that's equidistant to two points on the circle. You can see right away that this point can be equidistant to two points on the circle and not be the center. In fact, there are infinitely many points inside the circle that are equidistant from these two points on the circle. So this one doesn't work. But what if the two points were on opposite sides of the circle? This looks more promising, and where they meet appears to be in the center. But unless you're lucky enough to land right on a diameter, it could be just off and not the exact center of the circle. In fact, there are infinitely many points in the circle that are equidistant from two points on opposite sides of the circle. So this option does not lead to the center point either. What about a point that's equidistant from three points on the circle? Here is a point in red that is equidistant from three points on the circle. Notice that the placement of the three points does not make a difference. The point inside the circle that is equidistant to all three points is always constant. This point is, in fact, the center of the circle. The theorem states that in a plane, if a point is equidistant from three points on a circle, then it is the center of the circle. Using this theorem, try the following proof. Given the following diagram, prove point C is the center of the circle containing points P, Q, and R. In order to prove that C is the center point, you need to prove that it is equidistant from all three points. To do this, you will need to find the distances. Point C and R have the same x-coordinate of 4, which means they lie on the same vertical line. This means you can find their distance by taking the absolute value of the difference in their y values. So for your first statement, write that point C and R lie on a vertical line, with the reason that points with the same x-coordinate lie on a vertical line. Now find the absolute values of the differences in the y values of points C and R. So the absolute value of 4 minus negative 1 is 5, because the distance between two points on a vertical line is the absolute value of the difference in their y coordinates. How would you find the distance from point C to point P? Since P does not lie on the same horizontal or vertical line as point C, you have to use the distance formula. The distance formula states that the distance between two points is the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. Plug in the values for x and y from point P, which are 7, 8, and C, which are 4, 4. This gives you the distance is the square root of 7 minus 4 squared plus 8 minus 4 squared. Solve through to find that the distance between the two points is 5. The last point is point Q. How can you find the distance from point C to point Q? Notice they lie on the same horizontal line because they have the same y values. This means you can find the distance by taking the absolute value of the x values. You could also use the distance formula if you want to. They will both give you the same answer. So the absolute value of 9 minus 4 is 5, which means that the distance from C to Q is 5, because the distance between two points on a horizontal line is the absolute value of the difference in their x-coordinates. Since the distance of the three line segments is equal by substitution, you can say for certain that point C is the center of the circle containing points P, Q, and R. Because if a point is equidistant from three points on a circle, then it is the center of the circle. And this completes the proof. Nice work. In review, in a plane, if a point is equidistant from three points on a circle, 
Then it is the center of the circle. To prove a point is the center of a circle, find the distance from that point to all three points on the circle. And if the lengths are the same, then that point is the center of the circle. Good luck.